2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia Review The 2018 Giulia delivers Italian flair while raising the bar for small luxury sedan performance. Audi BMW Mercedes These are the popular brands people reflexively while looking for a luxury sedan. But let's say you find these to be a bit boring or complacent. That's where the 2018 Alfa Romeo Giulia also comes in. This luxury sedan newcomer isn't well known, but once the thing is it, it's tough to ignore. On the exterior, the Giulia seems as if nothing else while traveling thanks to its Dort styling and classic Alfa Romeo grill. The beauty is a lot more than skin deep, too. The underlying hardware is competitive with all the base Giulia and Giulia T buying a lively 280 horsepower turbocharged four-cylinder engine driving the trunk wheels by using a quick-shifting eight-speed automatic transmission. It's the top-of-the-line Giulia Quadrifoglio trim, however, that actually makes its presence known by aggressively gunning for the greatest performance honors in the class. It comes outfitted which has a powerful Ferrari-developed turbocharged V6 engine, weight-saving graphite, articulating aerodynamics, along with a whole host of other speed-enhancing features to conquer the hearts and wallets of performance fans. That said, the Giulia has its own work removed for it. Alpha's dealer network is small, plus the jury is out about the model's reliability. But if you are looking for a small luxury sedan which brings some passion for the segment, the Giulia might be your car. What's new? For 2018, Alpha has revised some from the Julia's options packages and created some additional trim level names. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity has become available in 2010. The Turbo 2.0 litre engine inside the Julia and T models packs some punch, however the model we'd recommend getting could be the top shelf quadrifoglio considering that the Julia prioritizes performance a lot. Consider the Driver Assistance Dynamic Plus package if you need the latest in advanced driver safety aids, including forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking. We found the common Brembo brakes and heated sports seats a lot more than adequate, so there's little reason to have the pricey carbon ceramic brakes and fewer adjustable, and non-heated, Spaco racing seats. Trim Levels and Features the 2018 Julia can be purchased in six trims, the entry-level Julia and Julia Sport, the Mitya T, T Sport and T Lasso, along with the high-performance Quadrifoglio. The Julia and T models come that has a nice number of standard equipment and are also powered using a turbocharged 2.0-litre four-cylinder engine, 280 horsepower, 306 pound-feet, that puts its power to the back wheels with an eight-speed automatic transmission. All-wheel drive is additionally available for all 2.0-litre cars. The Quadrifoglio demonstrates the whole potential in the car, including a Ferrari-derived turbocharged 2.9-litre V6 engine, 505 horsepower, 443 pounds to feet. Some in the key standard exterior features within the base Julia include 17-inch alloy wheels with all-season tyres, Brembo brakes, Xenon headlights, automatic wipers, rear parking sensors plus a rear view camera. Inside, there are remote keyless ignition and entry, leather upholstery, power adjustable front seats, dual zone climate control, adjustable drive models, a motorist information display, Bluetooth, a 6.5 inch central display, voice commands, three USB ports plus an eight speaker sound system. This year Alfa Romeo introduces the Julia Sport Dream, which can be essentially the sport package from your previous year. The sport trim adds unique front and back fascias, 18-inch wheels, gloss black window trim and painted brake calipers. The sport interior package remains an option which includes aluminum trim, huge column-mounted aluminum paddle shifters, a leather leader and sport pedals. If you are searching to upgrade the infotainment system for either with the above trims, the navigation package has an 8.8-inch central infotainment display, navigation, a rotary controller and satellite radio. A complement to the would be the newly available 14-speaker Harman Kardon premium sound system. 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto connectivity can be a standalone option on all trims. A cold weather package is specific for the Julia and Julia Sport models, and adds heated seats, a heated tire and heated washer nozzles. There are two degrees of active driving assist packages. The driver assistance static package incorporates front parking sensors, blind spot monitoring, rear cross traffic alert and auto dimming exterior mirrors. The driver assistance dynamic plus package adds adaptive cruise control, lane departure warning, forward collision warning with automatic emergency braking, automatic high beams along with a heat reducing infrared reflective windshield. The Julia T includes everything the Julia model has, plus 18 inch alloy wheels, the back and front parking sensors, the 8.8 inch display, navigation is a choice, satellite radio and also the aforementioned cold weather package. Adaptive Xenon headlights can be a standalone option. The T-Sport adds 19-inch alloy wheels, sport front seats, a respectable upgrade, and everything on the sport trim and sport interior package stated earlier. The T-Lasso trim might be more luxury-oriented and has now different 18-inch wheels, comfort-oriented front seats, upgraded leather interior trim, an aftermarket steering wheel with an interior air quality system. If you I just want a leather interior, it's available being a leather package. The T-Sport Performance Package offers additional step toward quadrifoglio performance around the T-Sport trim with adaptive suspension dampers as well as a mechanical limited slip rear differential. And if you'd prefer the performance package items minus the sport trim's aesthetics and interior bits, Alfa Romeo offers T-Performance Package, that includes the column-mounted paddle shifters. The Harman Kardon Premium Head Unit is a possibility as well. The Julia Quadrifoglio may be the star of the show featuring its 505 horsepower V6 engine. It comes mated to a 8-speed automatic transmission and features fuel-saving cylinder deactivation. Sadly, the 6-speed manual transmission for sale in Europe isn't available within the U.S. market models currently. The Quadrifoglio set of standard devices are lengthy, that is good news for buyers. There's a high-performance Brembo brake system as well as a torque vectoring rear differential that will transfer totally of available ability to either rear wheel. A two-mode exhaust with bypass valves offers varying amounts of engine music dependent upon your mood, as well as a carbon fiber active front splitter adjusts to get more aerodynamic downforce at speeds above 75 miles per hour and adaptive suspension and 19-inch wheels with super sticky Pile P0 Corsa tires round out the important hardware items. Looking above the Quadrifoglio, you can actually pick out the aggressive model specific details for example the front fascia, grille, carbon trunk spoiler, bi-xenon adaptive headlights, and rear diffuser with quad exhaust tips. But under the painted surfaces hides a lightweight hood and roof made of graphite. Moving inside, you can find carbon fiber trim, additional drive modes, and almost all on the features which are optional around the less expensive Julius. A few options available with the Quadrifoglio level. They add some driver assistance dynamic plus package mentioned earlier, leather and simulated suede ultra high performance Spaco carbon fiber racing seats, driver and front passenger seats with two-way and four-way power adjustments, respectively, no heat, a carbon fiber detailed steering wheel plus an ultra high performance Brembo carbon ceramic brake system. Trim tested. Each vehicle typically also comes in multiple versions which might be fundamentally similar. The S within this review depend on our first drive with the 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia, turbo 2.0 liters in line 4, 8-speed automatic, RWD, and 2017 Alfa Romeo Giulia Quadrifoglio, turbo 2.9 liters V6, 8-speed automatic, RWD. Driving. Alfa Romeo makes some bold performance statements concerning the Julia. And from what we've experienced until now, the statements are accurate. All high-performance Quadrifoglio models boast strong engines for his or her respective segments and deliver a driving experience being relished. Acceleration The base Julia's turbo 2.0 liter engine feels responsive and generates sample torque from low RPM. 
The Quadrifoglio Smooth Revving Turbo 2.9 litre V6 packs a beastly 505 horsepower punch. Alpha says it's great for a sprint to 60 miles per hour in 3.8 seconds, which seems realistic depending on our seat of the pants feel. Braking The Quadrifoglio's brakes are hugely powerful yet simple to modulate in casual driving. They have a natural feel, too. That's impressive for the reason that system operates electronically rather than being mechanically connected like systems. Steering Although the roads were wet and slippery during our evaluation drive, the Julia's steering didn't feel low in feedback or response. Turn-in is incredible due to an ultra-quick steering ratio, and yes it accomplishes this without feeling dirty. Handling Wet roads meant grip limits were reached much prior to we'd have liked. But form generous torque from both Julia's turbo engines making the trunk tires wish to spin freely, the Julia didn't exhibit any challenging habits. A near-perfect balance of weight front to rear likely helps. Drivability The 8-speed automatic shift quickly and reacts directly when using the column-mounted paddles. In dynamic or race mode, Upshifts and downshifts are tuned to offer more kick, which elevates the drama to your degree. Comfort Even in the base model level, its pay off the Julia's focus is delivering a sporty drive. The ride skews firm, then there is an average level of road noise that sneaks into the cabin. The base model seats lack cushioning and adjustability, however the sport seats fit such as a tailored leather glove. Seat Comfort the base Julia's seats have short and flat seat cushions and lack adjustability. Lateral seat bolsters have above average support, but that is about it. The optional sport seats fix everything wrong inside the base seats, with an awful lot of support and adjustability. But they still lack ventilation. Ride comfort the ride quality with all the adaptive suspension inside the Quadrifoglio is for the firm side but comes with a decent volume of comfort. The ride from the standard base Julia just isn't exactly plush either, but it really strikes a great balance between sport and comfort. Noise and vibration There's an average quantity of road noise that was slightly exacerbated because of wet roads. Wind noise, however, is fairly well isolated. No interior panels squeaks or rattles were detected, either. Climate control Dual zone climate control is standard, and operation is not hard. There's a good volume of cooling capacity, although fans don't flow air approximately some rival systems. The heated tire is effective and gets warm quickly. The seats offer 3 degrees of heat also. Interior your interior experience will vary determined by trim level. The type of seats make biggest difference in relation to driving position or acquiring it and out. The rear seat for being tight on legroom, plus the controls don't have the quality we expect on this class. Is beneficial. The rotary dial infotainment strategy is simple and comparable to others inside market, even if it doesn't have a touchpad surface similar to an Audi or BMW. All other controls are nicely the fingertips, and also the column shift paddles are just magnificent. Getting into, getting out. The front doors open wide, as well as the seats are an accessible height. You'll most likely turn out sitting around the aggressive outer lateral thigh bolster first, regardless how you enter the auto. Rear entry is a lot more challenging caused by tighter leg space and also a sloping roof line. Driving position. In the bottom Julia, the base seat cushion is short and flat and will not offer much tilt. The available sports seats, however, offer more cushioning, plenty of support and additional adjustability. A manual tilt and telescoping steering column is standard. Romanus. Lots of space in the beginning, but the spine seat is often a bit cozy. The footroom underneath the top seats is tight, along with the center drive tunnel is wide, which utilizes a lot on the middle seat's lower real estate investment. It'd become a squeeze for three adults, 
even when headroom doesn't seem to get an issue. Visibility Visibility out front is a great one, while using nose in the Julia falling away quick on an open view with the road. Side view mirrors at the leading roof pillar intersections produce the typical blind spots. Rear headrests are short and unobtrusive, and the corner roof pillars are thick. Quality The air vents, gear selector and rotary infotainment controls feel and look less substantial than these of class competitors. The NAF screen integration is actually sleek, and higher trim leather wrapped surfaces, carbon trim and carbon leader all look of very good quality and price appropriate. Utility Utility isn't a strong suit with the Julia, using the exception from the base and T-trim split folding rear seats and easy access child car seat tankers, all trims. Small item storage inside the cabin has limitations, and trunk space is unimpressive. Small item storage As in other European sports sedans, there isn't any lot of small item storage options. You'll find a couple of cup holders forward with the shifter plus a modestly sized bin within the center armrest. The door pockets are smaller than average barely fit a tiny water bottle. Glove box space can be limited. Cargo space the standard Julia features 40 slash 20 slash 40 split folding rear seats, which might be quite useful. The quadrifoglio seats will not fold down. Trunk volume specs aren't published, but according to appearances, the opening is shallow and narrow, and the opening as well as the space are about the smaller side for your class. Child safety seat accommodation. Latch anchors are located about the two outboard rear seats behind easy to access plastic flip doors. There are also three easy access top tethers likewise, to help you either fit two seats inside outboard positions or one within the center. Technology Integration in the wide 8.8 inch touch screen is incredibly well done, and also the controls, although slightly cheap feeling, operate intuitively. We was without any complaints with regards to the base car's audio system, nevertheless the optional Harman Kardon system produces some fantastic sound. Audio and Navigation Though the typical audio strategy is perfectly sufficient, the optional Harman Kardon audio delivers clear, crisp, rich sound with virtually no distortion if your volume is cranked high. The navigation product is displayed on a sleek looking 8.8 inch screen and successful. Smartphone integration Bluetooth is standard across all models, much like three USB ports, one of which can be charged only. Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are actually offered within a standalone option, that is a boon for connectivity.